Yo what is up guys my name is Hacky and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the paramedic belt in GTA Online. I showcased how to get every single belt except the paramedic belt so if you guys want to check those other ones out feel free to I'll leave the link down below in the description. But today we have the paramedic belt. It's a little bit harder than the other belts but it still is fairly easy. So just before we start if this video goes on to help you out take two seconds to drop a like on it that'd be awesome. Also if you're new to the channel go ahead and drop us up join the Hacky Army. We're looking to hit 35k by the end of the year so if you guys want to help us get there feel free to that would be much appreciated also don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well anyway though let's go ahead and get into it so first thing go to any clothing store around the map and you guys just want to have a simple outfit just like me here so just pick whichever pair of pants and shoes you want and make sure to take off all accessories you have on right now so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this hat you're gonna be able to put on any accessories you want afterwards so just make sure you take all of them off right now so once you guys have all that ready you guys want to go into the top section and here you actually have a few different options so you can either go into hoodies you can go into work shirts right here or you could go into overcoats and i'll show you which tops you can actually specifically have so in overcoats you guys can put on any one of the ones that says closed parka on it but if you guys want to put this one on you guys have to actually open it in the interaction menu afterwards but i actually don't suggest you guys put the closed parka ones just because you're not going to be able to see the belt that well on this so i actually suggest you guys put on either one of the work shirts or one of the hoodies so so in work shirts you guys can put on any one of the ones that says open check just like these ones i'm showing you right here now in hoodies you guys can have any one of these pretty basic hoodies right here so from slot 73 all the way down to the last one i think yeah so any one of these style hoodies are pretty basic and honestly in my opinion they're the best choice for this so i just selected the sky blue hoodie right here and now what you guys want to do after you picked one you guys want to go into designer t-shirts now in designer t-shirts you guys want to equip the black print t-shirt it's number 58 this one's a must so make sure you guys equip this exact one and once you guys have this go ahead and back out and go into the outfit section and save this outfit in the very first slot it must be in the first slot keep in mind and then back out of this and you guys want to go down till you see heist coveralls and then in heist coveralls go down till you see the last four and you guys want to equip any one of these last four right here and once you equipped any one of these last four go ahead and back out and now you guys want to head to the pier and once you make it to the pier you guys want to go to any one of the telescopes and go ahead and do the telescope glitch so run by the telescope while spinning right on the d-pad and then pull up the new action menu go into style and you guys want to equip the outfit you just saved and you should see the mask should merge onto this outfit and now you guys want to head to the mask shop now once you get here you guys want to go into the top section and go ahead and overwrite the last one you did so make sure it still is in slot number one and now you guys want to press start go into online go into jobs play job rockstar created go down to missions and you guys want to start up a titan of a job now once it starts up you guys should see you have an invisible torso and if you don't that means you did something wrong and you probably have to start over so now you guys want to head to the nearest ammunition store and you guys want to go into the outfit section on the right side here and go ahead and overwrite the last one you did so once again make sure it still is in slot number one that's crucial and then go ahead and back out and now you guys want to go into the gear section and this is only if you don't have an earpiece yet so make sure you buy any one of the three earpieces if you don't have one yet but don't equip it just yet just make sure you have one for later on but once you guys did all that you guys want to pull up your phone and quit the job now once you guys load back into an online session now we actually need to acquire the paramedic outfit itself so if you don't have the paramedic outfit yet i'm going to be showing you guys how to get that right now so you guys will need a facility for this and you guys need the mission called dead courier it's part of the data breaches which is act one so it should be pretty easy to unlock so just go ahead and load up the setup called dead courier once again and you guys need to have one friend to help you with this this one looks pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and get this one there's either a long sleeve green one or a short sleeve one and same thing with the blue one so so just pick whichever one you want to get and then just go ahead and ready up so once the mission loads up you guys want to go ahead and destroy this ambulance right here and then it's gonna say mission failed and once you guys get loaded into the sky you guys want to tell your friend to press restart so make sure you tell your friend to press restart right here and as soon as you guys see the orange loading circle on the bottom right you guys want to go ahead and disconnect your controller which i just did and you guys want to wait on this screen for like 20 to 30 seconds until you guys get loaded back into a session so it's been like 30 seconds i'm gonna go ahead and reconnect my controller and you should have no mini map just like me here if you have no mini map you know you did it exactly right and now you guys want to drive to the nearest ammunition store so once you guys make it to the nearest ammunition store you guys want to go in the gear section right here and make sure you guys 
guys equip the LCD earpiece. And once you guys equip this earpiece, you guys want to make sure you tell your friend to fully quit GTA 5. So make sure he doesn't only go in like story mode or something like that. Make sure he fully quits the game. And then once he fully quits the game, you guys want to join pretty much any friend in another online session. So I just got an invite from a friend and now I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And now you guys are loading into another session. So we just loaded back into an online session and as you guys can see we got the paramedic outfit now you guys can head to any clothing store and go ahead and save this outfit and you can also take off the earpiece right before you save it if you want it doesn't really matter if you want to keep it on or not so just gonna go ahead and save it right over here and you've now secured the paramedic outfit in gta 5 online so now make sure you have the paramedic outfit equipped and what you guys want to do press start go into online go into jobs play job rockstar created go down to versus and you guys want to start up crooked cop now go down to clothing and make sure you set this to player owned and then invite any one friend to help you and go ahead and start it and what a coincidence the guy that joined also has a paramedic outfit on so once you get to the outfit selection go down to owned outfit and you guys want to scroll one to the right and then you should see the belt should merge onto the outfit and then just go ahead and ready up and you can't really see it that well you can kind of see it through the hoodie and never mind i guess you can actually see it a good amount through the hoodie so now what you guys want to do pull up the interaction menu go into style and then go into accessories and you guys want to put any earpiece on and make sure you head to the nearest clothing store as well just go right in front of it and then just go ahead and pull up your phone and quit the job And now once you load back into an online session, all you guys have to do is head to that clothing store and save that outfit. And before you save it, if you want to, you can put on any accessories you want and you can change between some of the tops as well. So once again, you can scroll between some of the hoodies, some of the work shirts and some of the overcoats to see which one you like best. Once you've saved it, you've officially secured this beautiful belt in GTA Online. Hopefully you did go on to enjoy this video. Hopefully it did go on to help you out. If it did, make sure you guys take two seconds to drop a like on it, subscribe if you guys are new, turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway though, this has been Hacky. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.